Hello Capricorn, it's Alulu. And today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. This is for you, your company, or whoever else wants to hear it. Um, anyone can actually listen to the read, but that's on you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I don't know why my feet are like this. So maybe some of you have been sitting in meditation more than usual. You may have even been in, because it's kind of a meditative thing or something. I don't know. It's kind of like what you, how you see kids twist themselves, contort, twist and contort themselves up when they are very comfortable. But if you look at them, you're like that looks very uncomfortable. But they be so comfortable. So let's get into it. All right. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Oh, I like it. All right. So any information that you need is in the description box. Yes. Yes. All right. So we're gonna do past, present, and future. All right, so what is the recent past energy for my beautiful Capricorns? Moment to moment. All right, past life memories. Thinking about the past. Taking your time. What is the present energy for my beautiful Capricorns, please? And thank you. Six of Cups, the dream. And what is the potential future if they take the action? A new vision, a new approach, a new way of doing things. So with that moment-to-moment -moment card, what I'm getting here, in the recent past, there may have been a number of events that happened that uh, pulled you back into a space of just being, right? Um, whatever it may have been, there may have been a number of things that happened in the recent past that brought you back to a space of where you are and just being in the moment. Just being in the moment. Instead of moment to moment, it's about being in the moment and pulling yourself back together. Uh, yeah, pulling yourself back to, together to feel balanced. Uh, we got them upside down here. Temperance. Well, balance. <laughs> Temperance. Something may have inspired you, too. You may have been inspired by something you saw, something you read, something you heard, something that happened. You may have been inspired, right? So what I'm getting from this moment to moment card is that you're beginning to see the color of life again, right? Maybe you were stressed out, worried, depressed, whatever it is. You are beginning to feel and, and see how important it is to take your time uh, when doing things. Take your time. Uh, take a time out to just really breathe and inhale all the beautiful things and exhale all the stuff that you don't want. And just really being in the moment with that. Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. It may be that you are working on something or that you have some type of opportunity that is presented to you. And you are reminded of what it's going to take. Instead of having a lack of progress, you are progressing. Instead of being in a space where um, you weren't feeling any type of joy, there's a lot of childhood memories or past circumstances that came up to remind you of where it is that you, where it is that you are. What it is that you have to be grateful for. What it is that you have to be thankful for. Because with this Five of Wands and this Nine of Wands... You had to push through. It took a lot of courage for you to get to where you are. It took a lot of um, making amends possibly with that five of wands. You probably had to make amends with the past, make peace in a situation that didn't seem like it would ever be peaceful, right? It would ever, the conflict, the disagreements would never end because it's like someone may have been avoiding being, um, trying to avoid conflict, trying to avoid facing some type of truth and they had to go ahead and face it. Then you have the nine of swords and the four of wands. So you're finally in a space of balance, harmony, relaxation, or what have you. But with this nine of swords, there may have been some fearful stories that you were telling yourself or some things that were coming into the forefront of your awareness that really didn't have anything to do with what was going on, right? It was a lot of thinking, overthinking, a lot of overthinking. Maybe some of you had some type of dreams that you uh, missed. It's like miss, I was about to say misdiagnose some dreams. It's possible. But it's something about misinterpreting something with that nine of swords. You weren't in a space of calm clarity. Like it may have been a towel moment or a shit storm, right? So you were not in a space of calm clarity or in a space where you felt one with the one, right? So now you are back in that space. And so you got the two of cups and strength. It may have to do with a relationship, a partnership, or what have you. But overall, it's a divine um, unifying of the love within. The balancing of the, the masculine and feminine in order for you to move forward. 
someone may have had to persuade you or influence you in a way for you to have self-control over a situation because maybe you were overthinking a situation overdoing it and you finally realize what it's going to take for you to get some type of balance in your relationship or overall within yourself you may have distrusted someone what they were saying to try and take maybe you felt manipulated So there may have been a brief breakup. So then you have the Six of Cups. Well, actually the dream card, right? So now you are in a space where you are realizing what it is that you want. Realizing what it's going to take for you to uh, really be in a space of being okay with being okay. So that you can be where it is that you want to be. This is you real getting back, going back into a space of the beginning, right? So if you've accomplished a lot in your life, you've accomplished a lot of your goals, now you're in a space of, okay, what's my new goal? What is my new way of doing things? What is my new thought process, right? What information do you have for my beautiful Capricorns and the seagulls? What do you have for my beautiful seagulls, honey? Strength again. You, I feel like you're in a space where you are realizing the discipline that it's going to take for you to accomplish a new goal. Um, it's going to take for you to rejuvenate because some of you may have been kind of exhausted from whatever it is that happened whatever it is that transpired you may be in you may have been in a space where you were exhausted and now you are finding that strength again you're finding the courage you're finding the way you're finding your balance okay page of pentacles again so now you have to develop a new way of doing things this is like some of you may even be in a space where you start exercising. You may start yoga. There's some type of hobby that you may be starting. Uh, something that's going to help balance you out. The moon and the two of pentacles. You have a number of things on your place. So now you may even be in a space where you are trying to see how you can adapt to this new thing that you are bringing in. This new project. This new job. Maybe some of you are getting a second job. With this moon card, you're going to do a lot of reflecting. A lot of... Um, moving into a space where you are seeing things for what they are. Taking you into a, like a shadow aspect of something. So you're looking at the light and the dark in a certain situation. Eight of Swords and the Moon. You're going to realize what it is that are self-imposed restrictions. How you've held yourself back. How you've let other people hold you back. And what are the conversations that you are having with yourself. Because if like someone may even be around you who had a victim mentality. And they blame you for everything. King of Wands and the Eight of Swords. You got to pull yourself out of some type of rut. And you're figuring it out. You're finding a new way of manifesting. A new way of making things happen. But you know that's going to be a process. So, that you, so you may be doing... Um, some type of creative planning, creative structuring, creative strategies, marketing strategies, um, expanding your view, expanding the way that you do things, expanding your network, and also being able to delegate certain responsibilities to others so that you can balance the priorities that you already have. Oh, let's get these girls. What is this Six of Cups with my beautiful seagull, Tiny? Nine of Swords again. So y'all really, maybe, okay, can't say what y'all been doing, but maybe, my alarm going off. But um, maybe you've been in a space where you just felt like giving up or you just couldn't take it anymore. You turned your back on a number of, um, like, people may be calling you. Everybody needs you to do this, that, and the other. People lying and telling you that you're not doing enough by way of um, just being and feeling like they are entitled to you or something like that. And you just want to go back to it. It's the equivalent of when people get a lot of money and all of a sudden, everybody out of everywhere. Oh, remember me? I've been knowing you fell. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, look, I am so tired. What happened to the old days, right? Look at this. What happened to the old way of doing things when I was broke and didn't have nothing? God, dog, right? What is this nine of swords for my beautiful seagulls? This may be anxiety or stress over how much work it's going to take for you to get something accomplished, do something. Just write it down and, and, and create solutions for the problems that are, that are plaguing you, right? What is this nine of swords? Prince of Torches. You're going to be inspired by one of those ideas that you come up with. I feel as though you're going to take inspired action when it comes to what you need to do after you take some time out to really heal. Heal the way that you view things. Heal your, th your thought process. But also, after a long battle, anyway, it's time for you to do things different with that Ten of Cups. You may be thinking about how you want to um, deal with your family and friends. How you want to 
whatever your happiness is. Maybe you want to return to a state of happiness. What is happiness to you? What do you deem happiness? Because it changes, right? So now you're in a space of realizing what it is that will make you happy. Who will make you happy? What it is that you can do to have continual happiness on a daily basis. And if it changes, you know how to change it because of the way that you are going back in time. <clears throat> The high priest is in the nine of cups. You realize what needs to happen. Right when you feel like giving up, the information is revealed to you. Right when you feel like um, enough is enough, the information is revealed to you. Right when you go into a deep meditative space, the information is revealed to you. Some of you need to take some time out to really heal. Take some time out to really uh, take a break from the world. Because in that four sword, they are not looking at nothing. It's like, look, I am tired. I'm tired of getting... Having people saying and doing things. Yep, they're going to balance. Six of Pentacles and the Temperance card. So this is also, this could possibly be divine intervention when it comes to um, what it is that you have going on. Who you give to, who you do not give to. <clears throat> because there may be two situations presenting themselves at one time that you have to balance out. And figure out how to plant a new seed on which direction to go or what have you. But someone is going to feel like you're not giving them enough or you're not making enough time for them. Or you're not, they just feel like when you pull away that you're pulling away because of them you're pulling away because you have to figure out a new way of doing things maybe you need to communicate that with them if that's how close y'all are or maybe not because some of you won't try to put your phone on dnd &D and not answering your phone you know what i mean or you may be in a space where you just you don't have time for it so you have a new vision a new way of viewing things this is even a new something new that you are working on that is going to require a lot of yeah there it is. I was about to say, it require a lot of your attention. The Emperor and the Ace of Swords. You got mental clarity on the direction that you need to go and what it is that you need to work on, how you need to work on it, um, possibly who needs to work on it with you. But I feel like you're getting a message from either a job or this is you taking action on how you want to do things, taking control of your life, your situation, your relationships as well, your home, balancing out your home, bringing harmony into your home. You have a new vision of what home is. What does that look like, feel like? Some of you may be relocating and taking a break after relocation or right before relocation. Clarity comes in the morning. There's the Ace of Swords again. So you got messages coming through that are very helpful. Some, some of y'all need to turn your phone back on. Check your spam messages as well as check um, your archive messages on any of the platforms. Eight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. When you walk away from something, when you let something go, when you let it be just what it is and know that you have given all of the time, effort, and attention that you need to, you're going to climb your way out of um, a sea of hope and into a sea of inspiration, into a sea of clarity. This is a new way of looking at things, a new vision that has been brought to you by the universe. Ace of Pentacles. Y'all got Ace, Ace, Ace of Pentacles. If y'all get the Ace of Cups, y'all got three Aces. Things work in threes now. Ace of Swords again. Someone is communicating with you and they want to, they, maybe they want to apologize. Someone feels as though there is something here. They didn't mean what they say, what they said. They didn't mean to do what, they, what it is they did. They don't like that you pulled your energy back. They don't like that they feel as though you um, are guarded. Somebody really feels, it may be a child's mother, but someone feels like they, they can't move on without you. Justice in the moon. It's going to be revealed. They, they feel like they got to tell you. This may be a heartwarming conversation. Someone wants to help you work, help you build your empire. This may be a conversation that has to happen. And some of y'all don't want to hear from this person. Because I feel like it may have happened when there was some bad weather. That y'all um, had a disagreement. Someone wants to agree to pour into you the way that you poured into them. At King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So someone wants to agree to work with you. Someone wants to make something right. But it could also be that some of you may find out that um, there is a hidden child. Oh, my goodness. Now, look, man. It was clean. We do a little Java daily, five days a week on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> the death card in the fool transformation and a new beginning right behind each other so as soon as you get this new vision it's going to be go season so whatever you need to do if you haven't been taking time out and you just haven't been feeling like doing anything it's for a good reason because you are being um prepared for a new season a new way of doing things new prospects 
six of swords. Now you see which your the direction that you are going, and you're leaving behind any hurt, any stress, any anxiety, any worry, any fears. That's fear. Because they go to the night and the eight of swords. Sometimes you feel caught up in uh, your mind at night, possibly. You may be caught up feeling like you're not moving forward the way that you want to because you got so much work to do. But I wouldn't worry about it if I was you because judgment is here. Something is going to be ruled in your favor. Someone is making a judgment call on how it is that they are treating you or how they have treated you based on some type of argument here. Someone may have had two lovers, but that's not my business. Six of Cups and the Two of Swords, there's a decision that will be made when it comes to a past situation, when it comes to something that you thought was over and done with. That is being revealed to you around this next moon phase. This next moon cycle. Excuse me. That's loud. All right. What information do you have here for my beautiful seagulls, please? The Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. So that may be you choosing a new direction or choosing which way you need to go with this new uh, vision that you have. But overall, it has to do with someone that you really hold dearly. Hold. Uh, this is someone that you really can communicate with. This is someone that uh, maybe you have a choice between lovers overall or maybe you are reflecting on the past. A past lover and trying to figure out what you want to do with the present lover. There's something on the screen. Oh, man, look, five, five. So here comes the change, five of pentacles and the five of wands. The clarity that you need is coming about what it is that you need to do when it comes to how you move forward. Do you want to work by yourself or do you feel like you can work with someone else? How much of a challenge is that? There may even be a battle within that you have to face without. With this princess of pentacles, some of you are going to find out that someone is pregnant and I also feel as though there is something here that has to do with um, a child from the past. Somebody hit a child. And you are wondering, how did that happen? After all of the feelings that you put into this, out of all of the things that you've done with this person, how did that happen? The message is going to come through clear as day. I feel like you may get some paperwork in the mail or in your email that gives you all the information that you will need. And you will realize where someone lied about a child. And justice will be served. Oh, my goodness. Because the universe is real clean in house this year. They cleaned house last year, but I don't think people woke up to that. I guess they think that, you know, they are the, sup the supreme being. They got to find a say so. I don't know, but something is coming out that is going to change everything. So, if you are here for this new vision, <laughs> drop an eye in the comments. Just one eye because you are you are here for this new vision that is coming through. It's a divine vision. This ain't no bull crap. Okay? Bye.